Tonight, a case of a naked <clears throat> neighbor accused of chasing after people. Well, that's right. The story is that police have charged 44-year-old Curtis Rarick of North Liberty, charging with assault while displaying a dangerous weapon. In this case, yes, a sword. News Channel 7's Jason Mortry talked to the neighbors about the 911 call that got Mr. Rarick arrested. It was a quiet Sunday afternoon. Two guys were working on car speakers. Then they look across the street to this house in the yard. They say they saw this man, Curtis Rarick, completely naked. I mean, it wasn't like he was just on his front porch, you know, and just standing there. He was out there walking around his yard and stuff. Remember, it's mid-afternoon and children were playing nearby. So neighbor Rick Elliott confronts the man, telling him to cover up. Didn't say it in a mean way and saying, I know he's chasing me around with that sword. That's right. Police say Rarick got so upset when asked to put clothes on, he went back inside his home, he got dressed and came back with a two and a half foot sword and allegedly started threatening his neighbors. Yeah, um, there's a man with a big ass sword. Sword. Yeah, sword, you know, like a sword on sword. No injuries were reported, but neighbors say it certainly was a very scary scene. They say they've never had any problems with Rarick in the past. It was crazy. I live in North Liberty. It doesn't happen every day. Don Galbraith made the 911 call. She says she was concerned about her three kids. They didn't know what to think. They're a little scared with them living across the street, wondering what's going to happen later. And then we just looped around the car like three times. Curtis Rarick couldn't be reached for comment. He is charged with assault while displaying a dangerous weapon. If convicted, Rarick could face two years in prison and a $5,000 fine. Jason Mortweet, Iowa's News Channel 7, North Liberty. Mr. Rarick was released on $2,000 bail. Court records do indicate that he does have a criminal history. It turns out he pleaded guilty to some drug charges back in January. And coming up here tonight on Iowa's